Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to another beginner's guide tutorial. So this vlog is dedicated to all beginners out there who wish to know anything and everything about computers. So if you have something in mind, please feel free to comment it down below and we are going to create a beginner's guide tutorial for you. We are going to make this tutorial quick and easy to learn. Okay, so let's go. Okay, this time we are going to create the grading sheet idea of Microsoft Excel. Now, here are the topics that we are going to cover. So, we have perform automated numbering with text format, concatenation function, constant cell values, average function, logical statement if, conditional formatting with highlighting cells, rules, and creating a report for future date. Let's start with perform automated numbering with text format. Now, as you have noticed, if ever I'm going to type like the enrolling number for each of the student, let's say 0001, it will only appear one in there. So if you want to appear or make the three zeros appear, so I'm just going to delete this one. I'm going to go back to home, then highlight these areas right here instead of general i'm going to change that one to text there so i'm going to type three zeros and one there you go so it works now it's like the concept of this one is tobias davila is like the first enrollee for this school something like that so we started with a couple of zeros so that we can cover a lot of students something like that okay now so to auto number, all you need to do is just to point here and on this area right here in the corner, double click. That's it. Afterwards, concatenation function. So to create a student number, the concept of this one is like you are going to join two different cell values. The first one is the school year and next is the enrollee number. So to do that, I'm going to press equals, then type concatenate, okay, concatenate will do, this one, double click, then for the first text, I'm going to click this part right here, the 2022, and for the second text, first I'm going to type comma, then the value in here, since I can't click it, all I need to do is just to read what value should be in here so it's around a5 okay so a5 oh sorry a5 then close parentheses there you go but the problem is if ever i'm going to copy the formula going down the formula here what you are seeing is c3 but when you reach here it's c4 and we don't want um the second cell to go down only the first or the i mean the first cell to go down we don't want the first cell to go down because it should remain on c3 so what we're going to do is to lock c3 so to do that i'm just going to place some sort of a dollar sign in between c and number three so that if ever we are going to copy the formula downwards only a5 is going to go down and c3 will be locked on its place okay so let's try it double click here there you go okay so as you have noticed on the formula bar c3 locked on its place a6 is here then a7 a8 and so on okay so that is how you are going to create constant cell values up next is average function for the average function it will be in here in the subject grade the usual way in getting the average is like equals the sum of all the values which is this one close parentheses divided by the number of values which is four then you can get the average okay but in excel you can do it something like this equals type average open parentheses 
highlight these values right here close parenthesis enter then we're done then double click that's it okay for the remarks we're done with the average function for the remarks it's like we are going to record or provide comments if that student has passed or failed so to do that click on this area right here choose insert function a new window will appear I'm going to choose if click if then click OK on the logical test we are going to test subject grade if it is passed or failed so click on that area now the passing grade or the least passing grade is 75 so I'm just going to place less than 75 so if h5 is less than 75 it means it failed so if the value is true i'm going to type failed but if h5 is not less than 75 if the value is false i'm going to type passed as simple as that then click ok there you go so it is stated in here that it passed it's because it is not less than 75 but if we're going to copy the formula downwards you will notice that one of the students has failed it's because 74 is less than 75 next is conditional formatting highlighting cell rules so we are going to highlight all the cells here to check if there are students who failed on different terms so upon highlighting click on conditional formatting choose highlight cells rules choose less than I'm going to change the value here to the least passing grade 75 so once I'm going to click on OK you will notice that all the grades that are less than 75 will be marked red creating report for a future date that will be for the date so to create a date of course you can just type the normal date or you can capture your systems date on this formula will only work if your clocks date is working so I'm going to type equals then type now open close parentheses enter now if you want if you want to change the format of this one you can just click here then go to more number formats then in here it is represented by 4Ms and 2D so if you want to include the um, year so you can just press comma and type 4Ys 1, 2, 3, 4 you will see the sample over here click OK that's it now for future date let's say you wish this report to be printed by two days from now maybe around August 13 so I'm just going to press plus 2 then that will be August 13 right there okay so that's it that is how you're going to create a simple grading sheet in Microsoft Excel